right, so I did my first official take the cash envelope to the grocery store and do a whole entire haul yesterday. I've gone to Aldi several times in the past few months, but I've never made like a whole entire grocery trip from there. So I posted about that on Instagram last night and several of y'all said you wanted to see what I got. You love to see Aldi hauls. So I want to show it to you. Hey, if you're new, I'm Katie. My husband's Cullen. And I'm Cullen. We got <laughs> He's cashing in on the haul. So we just wanted to share this part with y'all, share this side of the story. I didn't film anything while I was going in and getting the groceries. At one point in this process, I might, but yesterday I was just like, I gotta get through it. I had both the kids with me. It was late, it had been a long day and we hadn't had time to go to the grocery store. I had my graphing calculator with me. I was adding up everything as I went. I was making decisions on what to buy and what not to buy. I put some things back. I chose this option over that option and decided not to get some things. So I wanna show y'all what all got. As we're showing you, I would love to hear what y'all's guesses are on how much it is, and then we'll tell you at the end what the price is, and let me know if you were right or if you were far off. Like, I am still in shock that I got all this stuff for dollars and 32 cents. Holy cow, that's just incredible. All right, so what do you, what do you think about this haul? Your original guess was yeah, I was like, mm. like just from the, you said, help me put it up, and as you put it up, go through it and look for it, look, you know, and I was kind of like guesstimating. I rounded up the tax and everything, came up with like 276. Not with all this meat, for sure. Came with like a wagon. Yeah, like a wagon like full. A foldable wagon. It would have been $500 worth of uh, anywhere else. Yeah. I'm gonna show you these cold things before they melt. I bought this stuff actually last night and we just pulled it all back out to show y'all a haul. Everybody was requesting a haul, so I was like, we'll just pull it back out. Okay, so we'll start with, I don't know, what was your favorite cold thing I got? Uh, probably the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so Brooks has gotten into eating, he gets like a little bowl of ice cream after dinner if he eats his food, so he got to pick some different flavored ice creams. These were like a dollar something. Chocolate chip cookie dough and Peaches and cream. Half the fat. They usually have strawberry that's amazing. He actually didn't even end up liking these two that much and wants strawberry. I'll eat them so now. I know, we'll eat them. So it's all good. Mini corn dogs. I had those for dinner, a little bit of those for dinner last night to break up the ramen. Actually, this is my best cold thing. Okay, so this should not be in the refrigerator. <laughs> Yes, it should. <laughs> that should not be a cold thing. If you put your reasons. Like cold chocolate. Oh my gosh. Thumbs subscribe if you like it not cold. Technically, I mean, I feel like I would call it a splurge, but a dollar thirty nine for eight. Reese's. I mean, that's a good deal. I couldn't, I could not. Okay, so um, obviously we got a little bit of Reese's, we got a little bit of cookies, and this thing of cookies, I like to have like a couple cookies after dinner. That will last us for probably a whole month. We did get some knockoff Nutella. I'm interested to see how this tastes. Milk, obviously, obviously milk. for the kids. Enough of that. Worcestershire sauce. I've been grilling these chicken breasts. Like that. Chicken babies, and like you like it. Over some salad, or like y'all heard yesterday, in some pasta with Alfredo sauce, which we'll get to in a minute. But there's that. Which is also cheaper than um, buying it and culling grilling it. I used to buy like the pre-grilled, pre-packaged oh, yeah. stuff. I have a great produce at Aldi. This, I would say, I feel like I can get more romaine hearts at Costco for like about the same price. I should have actually gotten some really? today because with all the salads that I've been eating and Cullen's been eating lately, we go through romaine lettuce. Chicken nuggets, can't have enough of those. I actually broke those too last night, so I had a chicken nugget. And, and the kids, the kids had that for oh, dinner. Yeah, chicken nugget. Right. Applesauce, we've always typically gotten these in the little pouches, and this is definitely a cheaper option, and they eat it just as well. Parmesan with some butter on some noodles. We have been going without Parmesan for like a month, so we finally gave in and bought it. Cheese. Got some cheese, cheese which we usually get the like actual sliced cheese cheese, yeah. which is more expensive, and I was like, let's just get that. See how they like and it. I grew up on this, like this with a slice of bologna. That's what most people did. Frozen broccoli, I feel like I could have gotten this cheaper in bulk at Costco, but ground turkey that came frozen. Look at that, 347. Ooh, can I grill this tonight? Sure, you want Ooh, to? Yeah. Flappy Joe Sal down here in the, in the south. south. I need to find me some marinade to sick these suckers in and let them just resonate <laughs> for all their little hour or two. Who missed Flappy Joe Sal? If you uh, were back with us from the Tallahassee days. Okay, so this thing, some of y'all might be a little grossed out. I think it's a little bit weird, but it's five pounds of ground beef, and it comes in a big A tube, and it was like $9.95. It's like the 73% lean, so it's the leaner ground beef. 
So we're gonna have to open that and split it up. Like, really? This doesn't bother me as much as it does. It you. doesn't bother me now get, like, because the, I've been getting it. The vacuum sealed cellophane, yes. ninety-eight percent lean, fat-free. Right now, we're into, like four yep. different, five different little one-pound things. Yes. To do for like spaghetti and have it frozen. And, and, yes. And something I've heard uh, Jordan Page say that she does sometimes is she'll go ahead and buy that or not that specifically, but she'll buy ground beef and then go ahead like tonight and cook up half of it all into a spaghetti sauce and cook half of it up into taco meat. And you can use that in the future, yeah. like freeze it. You can freeze it pre-cooked. That taco meat is an excellent, first of all. Excellent, and they don't come like this at Aldi, but. Segway. Oh, <laughs> taco kit. kit builder. Look at them trying to make it look like Doritos. I know, I know. Bold. Now this does seem like a more expensive option because it's already made into a kit. It was actually cheaper. Than uh, no, I want tacos, but we'll save this for tomorrow night. Should I go ahead and just cook that meat up and then have it frozen so that when we're ready for spaghetti, all I have to do is thaw it? And like, I don't even have to cook it. house smell in case we have another showing randomly like we That's just had. That's true. The kids got these new tubes, these yogurts. Those are good little snacks to keep them from getting into all the unhealthy snacks. Whoa. Whoa! If you drop all those eggs, so this I bought because a lot of times on salads or for lunch or whatever, if we haven't grilled chicken or mm. if we want a sandwich or something, mm. these were like, it was $5.99 and it says there's like maybe five pieces in here or something. That's a I pretty some, good deal. I need you to go back and get some buns if they're on the menu. Oh wait, you know what I just realized? Does it have like bones in it? Make and take oh, press. it's like already, it's got bones. It's like going to KFC. Oh, it sure is. I thought this was like, oh, and I got, look, we got dinner. Mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes. Baked beans. Baked beans. Oh my God. Fried chicken, welcome to Alabama. Mayonnaise, a lot of good stuff in here. <laughs> we got mayonnaise too. Okay, and then we got crunchy mm. fish fillets, which I accidentally grabbed the wrong one. I don't know if y'all are like me, Cullen taught me to reach behind the front box and pull the second box out. And so I just did that and didn't look and the front box was fish sticks. So I meant to buy fish sticks for the sometimes kids. Sometimes you win with that, but sometimes you lose with maybe that. They'll, maybe they'll like them. Cream cheese, I mentioned this the other day that I like to have cream cheese on hand because I can make just about anything with mm. cream cheese. Yes. So those were actually super duper cheap comparatively. Taquitos, again, uh, not the healthiest option in the world, but for a quick lunch Instead on of going the go, to the gas working at home. And getting them off those little hot, hot mm -hmm. rollers. Mm -hmm. you just put them up here. And I did get my almond milk. If y'all saw the other day, it is Friendly Farm brand. And it was, I looked this up for my post last night, but I think it was like $1.79. It is $1.79, look at that. These are something that I like to have as a snack and they're actually super cheap at Aldi. Like if you were to buy beef jerky anywhere, it's really expensive, but those are like $3, $5, something like that. I eat those on the go for a snack, running out the dough. And that's your second pack. We got another one laying around the house somewhere. <laughs> I opened up the pack this morning because I just didn't have time to get breakfast because we were running out the door for a showing. So I grabbed a couple of those turkey sticks and some almonds and put them in a Ziploc baggie. It's somewhere in this house. I have no idea. <laughs> Hot dogs are like 79 cents, 89 cents or something like that. We got pop tarts because the kids wanted those. Was you know that what all I like of the to cold do stuff? Is fry me up a hot dog in the morning, chop it up, and put it with some eggs. Ooh. I got me a spaghetti squash. This is a little bit of a splurge. I feel like it's a little more expensive than other things, but that's what I use as a substitute for noodles since I do a lower carb option. Pop tarts. We're gonna go through all the unhealthy things now. Gaines' favorite chips are Pringles. So we got the off-brand stackers, cheese puffs. They're actually called that. Macaroni and cheese because kids. These macaroni and cheeses were 33 cents a box. You know what? That's I'm, like I'm, ramen level. Look, watch this, magic. Oh, look at you. There's another one. So we got several of those. This is another one of those things where I said, is it cheaper to buy it in bulk at Costco or to buy it a bunch of them at Aldi? And definitely I think a bunch at Aldi. Over the years, I have like loved for some reason, the off-brand is stepping up their game with stuff like the this. all the off-brand, like you know? Yeah. Kraft is getting, getting to run for their money here. Yeah. Graham crackers, kids like those for snacks. Alfredo sauce, marinara sauce. Most of the time, I make my own homemade spaghetti sauce, but there are definitely nights when I'm like, I'm just gonna need to pour it in. We got bananas. We have some oranges, which I need to put back in the refrigerator. We've already eaten a couple of those. They were no longer on sale last week when I bought them. They were a dollar ninety-nine. This time they were like three ninety-nine, but that's okay. Okay. Already cut These those already up. Pre cut so we can have them for easy access. This is kind of like good and bad because I just start picking at these. I know. Three of these this morning just because. So oh, dang good. Literally, those are the best oranges I've had. Yes. I don't know where. They are 
delicious right now. If you have an Aldi, the navel oranges, oh my gosh. They literally pop off the run. And they're just sweet and juicy. However, there's sometimes when the fresh fruit goes bad and we don't have any, so we like to keep this on backup or like to send in lunches or something like that. Anybody else out there just can crack these open and just chug the whole can. Whole can, oh my gosh, so good. And that's cheaper than buying like the fruit cups, which I did get a couple of those. Because again, I like to be frugal and be smart. Fruitful. This is still frugal or than buying it somewhere else. But there are times, especially right now with selling our house, where it's like we need to just throw some fruit cups in a dang lunchbox. Apples, we bought a bag of apples. Bread, drink mix. We like to mix in our drinks, like add flavor to the water. It is a cheaper, I feel like maybe less fattening, less bad for you, less sugary option than like juice, which is not a necessity. We definitely do not drink that like on the regular. <laughs> That's something that we'll use like if we're making a mixed drink, making a little cocktail or, you know, you just like want an extra flavor in your drink, but most of the time we have water. We do also, this is not something from Aldi, but just on the same note, I wanted to share about this. I'm not really a coffee drinker, but I do like to have caffeine. And I've gotten these. You've heard of the Mio water flavor. They're little squirty things that you squirt in your water drops. And this is the Walmart brand, and it's not the squirty kind. It's like a packet of the powder that you mix in it has caffeine in it. So this is what I do in the mornings instead of coffee. The cost for coffee is obviously not there. Cullen has been drinking his coffee. We don't outsource our coffee. Yeah. We If we had make it, we make it at home. Yeah. But we got the Walmart brand last time. Extra caffeine. Extra caffeine. Three dollars and something for 12 of them which is an amazing deal for those little coffee pods for the keurig that's not out right now pretty good oh, okay. fudge. <laughs> oh my goodness chewy fudge. yes we have not oh had God. brownies or wait. dessert oh, oh can we make these like right now we and then should. top it with that chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream omg Ooh, a hot dog in it and blow it out like a candle what it'll be a birthday party I'm just getting creative when we don't have that much food. Oh my long. gosh. Okay, so these were purchased because for one, like we've said, and I've seen several people comment, like you gotta indulge a little bit. I don't think I would consider this us being irresponsible. These were like 80 cents a packet. Rice to make with our dinners. Nutri-grain bars, Brooke eats those for breakfast. Beef bone broth to make some soups and stuff. Vanilla wafers, Gaines has been asking for those because they had them at school or something. How are they able to call this Frosted Flakes, I wanna know. Copyright. it's the off brand, it's Copyright. the Millville brand. Grits. We make those because we live in Alabama. More mac and cheese, everywhere. more of this. Kettle chips and then the wavy chips. Those are good with lunches. I think that was it from Aldi. Oh yeah, there is stuff in the garage in the deep freezer too from Aldi. All included in that price that we paid. I got three pizzas because we like to have family pizza night and these are obviously the cheapest option. Cheese, sausage, and pepperoni. I feel like I got something else that I put out here. I guess that was all I put out here. But still, three pizzas. I think Cullen cut out the price price. If y'all want to take a guess at what the price is, I'm going to tell you here in just a minute. Now the things that I didn't buy at Aldi were the large things on my list that I needed to get. Typically get from Costco. I did this price compare. That you spent that much. On those, on those four things. Four yes. Things or six things. Well, granted, a lot of it came from this, which I'll just tell y'all, this is my go-to breakfast when I'm not having a smoothie. So if I'm out of almond milk or spinach or we're in a hurry, these are the Kirkland brand protein bars. They have four net carbs and 21 grams of protein, and they have 15 grams of fiber, which is huge for the eating plan that I go by. This was $17.99. There's 20 of them in there though. So that's like a little bit under a dollar per one. That may be a little bit expensive. But hey, when you feel good and- But for my health purposes, yeah, when it's- Yeah, look good and stuff. Right. You do it's good. not like I'm going out and buying some protein bars that are super expensive. I feel like this is definitely a justified purchase. So there you go. I shouldn't have justified it to y'all, by the way. Everybody yesterday was like, you don't have to justify yourself. And I appreciate those of y'all that think that. This is some rice ramen, which I think I've talked about this before. It has eight grams of protein in the little ramen cake and it's gluten free. I do try to eat lower carb option things, but sometimes I do have noodles and I like to have these because they do have the protein in them and they're gluten free, which was recommended by my doctor um, that I don't always stick to, but try when I can to stick to the gluten free thing. Okay, this is the crazy thing. The rice ramen is usually $8.99 and I was like gonna just debate myself on it, but it was on sale at Costco today for $2.50 off. So that makes it $6.50. Which isn't bad considering it's like a health food. The laundry detergent. 
So I actually compared this. Some people will be interested to hear this. Let me get my phone. Cullen said, I ain't playing. While you're talking about your healthy ramen, I'm gonna. I told y'all I had needed laundry detergent, which typically I would just go grab the best smelling thing and not look at it. For a long time, we used the little pods which like if you price compared those to get some other detergent, gracious, it is like way, way more expensive. I know we always did use powder previously. I just don't feel as comfortable doing the powder in our like top loader washing machine where you have the little thing where you put the detergent, I don't know. So I got the Kirkland brand of laundry detergent and I price compared this to what was it Aldi because they have laundry detergent there too. I know lots of people have said use coupons and get it when it's on coupon sale and you can get it for basically almost free. Obviously I wasn't prepared ahead enough of time for that. The Aldi one was ended up equaling out to as a smaller size six cents per ounce of their laundry detergent. The Costco laundry detergent happened to be on sale today. There were four things I got and four, three out of the four were on sale today. How amazing is that? It was usually $15.99. It was on sale for $3.20 off. So that makes it $12.79, I think, something like that. And it equals out to six cents per gallon. I mean, per ounce, technically it's like 6.5 cents per ounce, a little tiny half of a cent more expensive, but to get a larger size that I'm not gonna have to go back for, for like a long time, the one we have in there now, I think we've had for six months. It hasn't run out yet. So that was an amazing deal. Then I needed dishwashing detergent, which we have been using the pods for that. Those are just way more expensive if you're pinching pennies. I looked at the Kirkland brand and they actually had Cascade, like the name brand, on sale at Costco. It was cheaper than the Kirkland brand today, usually $9.40. It was two dollars and fifty cents off of that. That makes it what, like seven dollars? And this is a big ass bottle, <laughs> but it's seven point eight pounds, one hundred twenty-five ounces. So there you go. Those are the things I got at Costco. So for those four things, it was forty-eight dollars and forty-six cents, which is ridiculous considering that's like a third of what I spent at and that's all day for all this stuff. So much when you go get like necessities at these bulk places. I feel right. Like. If I hadn't, and had I just bought the smaller option of this, it cost. I mean, at Aldi, it was like basically the same price, but it was smaller then I would have run out in like a month and had to do it all again. And I just prefer to spend half a cent more per ounce and have it for longer. So there you go. I think that's the haul. I think that's everything. Cullen getting creative over here too because we were did not have enough oil to make his brownies. So he's using applesauce. Who uh, knew you could do that, right? Uh, you told me about it and I looked it up and it seems like it's a it's thing. It's a legit thing. I've done it before and you haven't known and they tasted the same. Mm. Ooh, at this point, him. brownies are brownies. Like They're going to taste like gold because we haven't had them in so that's long. Right. <laughs> okay, so all of those groceries were $158.32. That is insane. So here's my receipt, and you can see. I, and I feel like there's probably something I left off that I like put back in the cabinet that's and didn't Aldi's get it out. Stuff. That's just for the Aldi stuff. Was 400 400 for the next two weeks. In the, in the uh, envelope? Yeah, and so that was less than half of the budget. I'd gone in thinking, like, I want to try to spend not too much more than 200 but I knew I might. So I was able to go get the staples that I needed from Costco and still have money left for the next two weeks in case anything else comes up. But we should be pretty set. Like, we can definitely make dinners, lunches, and everything happen. Um, I think we might need to get more brownies. That's a... <laughs> well, that's why I bought three boxes. And some vegetable oil. So we don't have to go back. I did like the idea that some people said, about going once and then if you forget something or run out of something you just have to make do because we've done that for like the past yeah. month and it's been fine the only things that at this point I would go back for we do need to still get the cat litter and cat food and stuff like that but the only things I would go back for are if like the kids run out of milk or bread for sandwiches or like fruit or something like that but I'm, I'm pretty sure we're good at least for go. the two weeks we're probably good for longer than two Woo! weeks on a lot of things thanks for doing it babe yeah no problem I was excited I love this like I love it I used to do this all the time and I really thought about getting some coupons and trying to do Publix. Speaking but of you coupons, have to plan ahead for that. We got back on Ibotta. Go sign up. Oh yeah. Can you use our code or something? Oh, probably. I can leave y'all a referral code down yeah. here in the in the description. We had actually worked with them on a brand campaign back in 2016, January 19th, 2016. So it was that. almost exactly four years ago. And then that's when life started getting crazier. And so we definitely didn't use it after that. 
So last night I had a friend I was messaging with that was like, oh my gosh, you have to get on Ibotta. So I went to just, I was like, oh, let me open up that account. Like, I don't even know if our account still works. I had to reset the password, logged in. We had $39 just sitting there waiting to be paid out. Like I didn't even know. We hadn't even attended to that. There's that extra money that comes around when you're not expecting it and. You'll stay tuned for the get current uh, totals and stuff tomorrow. Yes, I, th I think we had said we were gonna do that today, but then with the grocery haul, everybody was wanting to see it and we wanted to show y'all before we ate up all the food. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching and for all the love and support. Y'all are amazing. And I'm gonna go lick the brownie bowl. Don't you put that in the sink. I gotta lick no, it. I was about to say, lick it. Mm. Before you stick it in the sink. <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you at TMS. Catch you on the other side. Bye. Peace out.